everybody. This is Sheldon from Shell Rock Art. Welcome to the caboose part of the acrylic crazy train. Well, rather, it's more of a crazy short bus, considering that um, two of our riders are not riding on the train today. Um, they're doing some other things that are pretty busy. And so we wish them well on their experiences on that side. So, it's funny that well, I call it a short bus because I'm at the end of it, but you just watched um, uh, Christy with the uh, Muppets. And it's a funny thing because sometimes um, we take art, if we're not careful, we can take art way, way too seriously. So sometimes you need a commercial break or a comedy break to kind of break some of the tension a little bit to have a little bit of a silly moment, some some goofiness a little bit, because that's what the crazy train is being crazy is all about. You know, we are in a time period that is so stressful that, hey, if somebody can get a little bit of a laugh here and there, why not? But we are very serious artists and we're very serious about our work. So once in a while you might see me get a little bit goofy, but that's just how it works sometimes. So we need to, get mentally in that moment in order to be able to create. We can't be serious all the time. Sometimes that seriousness even hinders our creativity. So yes, we are serious artists and we put out, um, our Jelly Bean artists really put out top notch work. So please continue to join us in writing our crazy train that starts off with uh, the joy of pouring with Cy Frost. And then following him is Darren Nixon from Venom Fluid Art. Then um, Christy Connolly with Creations by Christy, who on occasions will pop out just a, just a Muppet and a Dora Muppet. And then usually on the train will be with me, Sheldon, and then Britta and Lance, who's off doing some other collaborations who's not with us, because Lance is usually the caboose. So I'm going to be showing you how I did this uh, piece, here we go. This nice um, jelly bean bloom here. And the interesting thing, I did not realize what it did, but on this corner here, there's some fish lips and there's an eye. My wife pointed that out. It's almost like this little burst of bubbles here. And this fish just burst through the burst of bubbles. I might even decide to later on, maybe embellish a fin over here, maybe another fin on the other side to make it look like this fish is coming through. Maybe a tail back here. He's just busting through this cloud of jelly beans. Who knows? But it's something that's uh, creative. But I want to get you down to my uh, can canvas, the bare canvas in the puppy pool, and I'll show you how this was created. So, stay tuned. Hello everybody, this is Sheldon from Show Art Art. Welcome to my channel. I'm going to be doing today a, a little bit of a different type of, uh, well, a different palette. And I'll go over my colors. Um, they didn't seem to go together, but when I put it on the canvas, wow. I had to scrape it though, because my selectivator was a bit on the thin side. So I uh, just thickened it up slightly by adding a little bit more paint. But also I'm a big fan of the um, Lucas Krill Black. I like it better than the Amsterdam Oxide Black. I think it holds its cells better. But um, here's a couple of test pieces here. This is one test piece. And another test blob layered differently is this one here. You can see how those jelly bean top style cells went. So, um, but I chose to use on the second one, white paint as opposed to a white cell activator under a black cell activator. I just think it works out better for me to use white paint. 
So, the colors that I'm using are, this is Carmen, Primary Elements, Color Art, look at that bright red. Mmm, delicious. This is a prism pour color called Water Dragon. And as you see my consistency, it's a, even though it leaves a trace, it's a soft trace. It's not really crisp. My paint's are usually thinner than most other artists who bloom. And that's fine. See, there's a light trace there. This is, see that has a little bit more of a harder trace. So I'm gonna add a few drops of water to thin this down. Just a touch. Just a few drops, you don't need that much. It's amazing how little water you need to change your consistency. So you always add a few drops at a time. Yes, this is much better. Now you see how the trace is a little more softer than it was before, okay? And then this is called, that was Cerulean. This is called Fandango. That's a prism pour color. Primary elements. Uh, this one's called Twilight. Pigment. And all these you can get on the Color Art website. You can use my code. This is Shell Rock Art 1121. And it will be listed in the description box. This is the white paint, Amsterdam, but it's not a cell activator, it's a color. And my cell activator is uh, Lucas Krill Oxide Black with US Floatrol that's thinned with water. Half the amount, two parts US Floatrol, one part water. And then I add that to the paint. Um, so. I got my pillow down already. We're gonna go for a second time. The first time I didn't like it because I think my CA was too thin or something was too thin and it did not work well with the white underneath. It had this ugly grayish um, crazed look to it. Also, Usually when I do my blooms, I blow with the fan on um, high. This last time I blew with the fan on low, I had more control over where I was blowing and I think I got better cells. So I'm gonna try that again. Not to be so quick and hasty about my blowout. Cerulean. It's a nice rich blue. I love it. Fan diggity dango. Nice light springy green. It's happy green. This is the, I should have put the Fandango first, but that's okay. Um, this is the uh, Twilight. 
And then a touch of the white to go into the black saw activator. So it's not much. Just to put some rings around the cells. So literally like that much. And then the black cell activator. One and a half. All right. Hands on low this time. Go back to high. Okay. I don't know. Maybe it was kind of cool to start on low and then bring it back up to high. Ooh la la, but look at those jelly beans pop up. I always know I was a big fan of the, uh, what did I call it? The Lucas Crow. Oh my goodness. Those beans are fabulous. Sometimes if you blow into a straw, you get moisture in there. And sometimes that moisture comes out of the straw and puts a little bit of wetness on the top of your paint. Okay, a boatload of jelly beans in there. It's a whole cluster of them. So let's uh, do some modifications around the edges, and those ugly spots. So there's a big barrier right here that I want to modify. I think it got kind of moved a little funky when uh, I started off with the slow blow. Ooh, that rhyme. Slow blow. So we're going to take that and add some interest to it. There you go. It's a little modification there. Uh, this is going to get blown off. I'll put something here. Generally, I don't like to wreck anything that's in here if the blowout worked out great. That's, yeah, generally, I don't mess with anything that's a good looking um, cluster of cells. 
and this is a great looking cluster of cells in here so I don't want to mess with that just some of these odd shapes I'm just going to put some swirlies in little half moon here I'll just pull that all right let's spin this puppy out and you notice I didn't whip it around I just pat it around. You don't have to spin so fast. You can spin it as often as you want and the colors will spread out. And it doesn't make a difference if you're spinning it clockwise or counterclockwise because it goes from the center out. Whether you're going from left to right, it's not going to shift directions. Like this swirl right here is not going to suddenly jump over here if I change directions to show the point I just went the other direction and that swirly is still in the same spot and the more you spin the more paint is going to come off so you find yourself uh, having to spin faster, the more paint comes off. But I think this is exactly what I was looking for. Great cells. I will get you down for a closer look in just a minute. Okay, folks, this is the final wet result. Look at those glowing cells with those little light white areas in the center of it. Yeah, that's from those transparent colors and that pillow showing through. That's how they look all nice and juicy. Look at that. This is a nice little cluster of jelly beans here, how they change colors. There's a little swirly Q area. I, it became muted, so I swirled it up to get some of those colors some interest. And then I put a few swirls around the other corners too. So, but that's the whole piece all together. So, Thank you for watching once again. This is Shelter from Shell Rock Art. And again, happy pouring. Bye bye.